one day the world will perish. Mother Nature shall arrive to eradicate our lives. Human existence is spoiling and unbeknownst to our species, Expiration dates are engraved indelibly in our souls. Soon our spirits will levitate to a world composed of nothingness. When earth deteriorates from pollution, winds of fire shall caress petrified remains of a prehistoric species. Eventually the fiery winds will blow remnants of human history. The sky will comprise of acidic clouds that will obviously deluge acid, barbecuing human body parts on Earth's fiery pit, burning soul, the substitution for coal. Now who's hungry for baby back ribs, fingers, and black-eyed peas? Soon, you'll see. Mother Nature determines what meteorologist forecast. Soon the sun will release heat dissimilar from its normal temperature, igniting through the ozone and evaporating all oceans. Specifically, the Pacific will flow human blood with crimson tides and scarlet waves, blood streams of blood. But meanwhile, the sun will be equipped with guns, shooting heat of bloodshot sun rays. But several days later, Earth will discontinue orbiting the sun and our epidermis will develop frost bites from the blistering cold. Hands will grow icicle fingers, will begin to sneeze glaciers. Eyes will cry avalanches so cold for homo sapiens sapiens survival. We'll have to evolve with snowman legs, Eskimo thighs, Mount Everest ankles, and North Pole toes. Cold sores will begin to spread like viruses residing between a prostitute's legs. No vaccine to cure bacteria, get sick and instantaneously pronounced dead. Minds will twist like cyclones, contortionist dread in DNA, funguses shall sprint around gums as if we swallowed mushrooms with legs. Severe acne will plague every gender, class, and ethnicity merely so every person in existence can empathize with the conditions of having a black head. <laughs> Alcohol consumption will become prohibited. No humans will be allowed to consume liquor any longer to disregard reality. In fact, black holes will engulf our intoxicants. Darkness will cover the atmosphere as if the sun was cold. Alcoholic rain will water Earth's soil with whiskey. Now perusing on freeways and fetus, we'll have lubricated petunias and lilies driving under the influence with an intoxicated rose riding passenger. I'm not dandelion. Honestly, honeysuckles will become astronauts breeding with the galaxy so high They'll procreate with meteors, purchase Saturn's ring with the Lone Star card, marry Mercury on Mars merely to madden the Milky Way for having a vasectomy. However, as a mere human being, you should be worried about saving your planet because Mother Nature will chastise us for this level of pollution. And when she does, She'll present herself as an intermixture of creatures. She'll have anaconda braids, cricket edge up, seahorse forehead, werewolf ears, and alligator's eyes. A lion's nose, octopus spirit, fox legs, serpent soul. Orangutan shoulders, jaguar lips, bare arms, shark knuckles, tiger chin, hyena hips. Piranha teeth, caterpillar gums, beetle mouth for beetle juice, acid frog tongue, elephant lungs. Possum smile, giraffe neck, crocodile cheeks, python fingers, fish knees, snail stomach, penguin eyelashes, cheetah ankles, dragon breath, camel toes, turtle bones, stingray elbows, butterfly breast. Mother nature's animalistic body will exude this apocalyptic smell, such a cataclysmic smell. If we do not lower the level of pollution soon, we will be inhaling the foul smell of extinction before the world goes red, go green.
Thank you. Thank you all. I have a question. What are three simple ways to go green and save green? Well, if you do not mind, I'll answer the question for you. One simple way to go green and save green is to skip the bottled water. Use a water filter to purify tap water as opposed to purchasing bottled water. Not only, not only is bottled water expensive, but it generates large amounts of container waste. Also, you can purchase a reusable water bottle, preferably aluminum rather than plastic. Secondly, keep your electronics out of the trash. Keep your cellular phones, computers, iPads, iPods out of the trash. Donate or recycle them responsibly when the time comes. Electronic waste contains mercury and other toxics that are very harmful to our environment. Lastly, save energy to save money. And you all should be jumping out of your seats right now before I relinquish this information. Save energy to save money. Unplug all appliances when not utilizing them. Unplug all appliances when not utilizing them. Also, you can purchase and install some compact fluorescent light bulbs when your older incandescent light bulbs burn out. In review, skip the bottled water, keep your electronics out of the trash, and lastly, save energy to save money. Before I conclude, I was granted the opportunity to thank you all for being in attendance. I know all of you have obtained some vital information that you will attain, retain and you will apply it to your everyday lives. May I add, I am immensely elated that a multitude of intellectuals can congregate for such a momentous occasion. In my two decades of existence, this has been thus far This has been thus far the most informational conference that I have ever attended. So I want to thank everyone, all of the sponsors, all of the attentive listeners, all of the beautifully conservatively dressed women that are in the room. <laughs> I want to thank all of you and I want everyone to please stand up and acknowledge all, everyone, all of the sponsors, all the curators who have put this event together because it, we would not be here if it wasn't for them. Thank you. In conclusion, my name is Dante Newman. I am a junior at the remarkable Texas Southern University under the leadership of the eminent, prominent, immaculate president, Dr. John M. Rudley. And I want to leave you with some words of wisdom that my grandmother always told me. Simply, without embellishment, she would always say, stay safe and dry. Thank you.